Okay, this video is uh, so that I can talk a little bit about uh, the midterm that's coming up here this week. And so uh, the midterm is going to be, uh, the dates are on your syllabus, but uh, just to go over it, it's going to be July 10th through 12th. So that's Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday of this week, July 10th, 11th, and 12th. Now you can go in any time during that time frame uh, and take your exam. Okay, so where do you go to take your exam? You go to the Academic Success Center, okay, at the University of Arkansas Fort Smith. This is in Vines 202. And so that's where you're going to go to take your test. You check in there, tell them that you're in numerical methods and that you're ready to take your test. And uh, they'll give you your test and you'll have two hours to take it. Okay, you'll have two hours. Now, you will not have a computer, okay, but I would strongly encourage you to bring a calculator. You know, you'll definitely need that. Uh, you'll need a calculator uh, and obviously some kind of writing instrument, and that's pretty much all you'll need is those two things, a calculator and a writing instrument. That's pretty much all that I'm going to let you have. Uh, no book, no notes or anything like that. Um, now, you will be provided an equation sheet, which I'll talk about in a moment. But let me just talk again where you go to take this thing. The Academic Success Center, it's Vines 202. And uh, let me show you the hours, okay? The hours, we're talking about Wednesday, Thursday, Friday this week. And so Wednesday, Thursday, the hours are 7.45 a.m. to 8 p.m. Uh, Thursday the same. Friday it goes 7.45 a.m. to 5 p.m., okay? And obviously you have to give yourself, or you should want to give yourself, two hours. And so on Wednesday and Thursday, you don't want to come any later than 6 o'clock. Uh, and on Friday, you don't want to come any later than 3 o'clock, all right? So that you'll have your full two hours uh, for the exam. I don't really think you'll need two hours, but, you know, it, it's certainly good to take all that you can in terms of time, okay? So uh, let me talk a little bit more specifically about this midterm exam and uh, how it's going to work. As mentioned in the syllabus, uh, the exam covers blocks one through three, okay? So block one, block two, and block three. So let, let me talk a little bit about each block and the potential questions that can be on this midterm. All right, first on block one, uh, every one of these midterms is going to have one question. And by the way, there are six questions. Uh, six questions on this midterm. Uh, every one of them is going to have one question related to programming, okay? Now, uh, a lot of people ask, how do I do programming on the midterm? There's not even going to be a computer, so how am I going to do the programming? Well, what you're going to do is you're going to interpret programming. And the good news for you is interpreting programming is a whole lot easier than actually writing code. Okay, what you're going to be doing is you're going to be the computer. And so what's going to happen is you're going to look at code and you're going to have to tell me exactly what it says, what happens when that code is run, okay? And so there could be some different things that I could throw in there, uh, but it's basically um, you're going to see code and then you need to write down exactly what would be displayed on the screen or in Excel um, if that code is run. Now, some of you may be programming in MATLAB and some of you may be programming in Excel, and the question is, well, what am I going to see on the midterm? And the, the answer is both. Uh, you will have the option whether to solve the Excel problem uh, or the MATLAB problem. So you'll see code in either Excel or MATLAB, and you solve one or the other. Don't do both, okay? I've seen a few students do both. Don't do both, okay? Pick Excel or MATLAB. If you do both, then I'm just going to probably just pick the first one on top or something. I don't know. I'm not, don't do both. Do one or the other. Do either Excel one or the MATLAB one. And, uh, and then solve it. But you will not have to write code. You will be simply reading code and telling me what it says and, and writing that down, very specifically writing that down. Okay? Uh, what else in block one could I uh, cover? Well, I could certainly talk about error precision and accuracy, so you need to know the difference between uh, true error and approximate error. I will not do anything with the computer representation of numbers. That's not on the midterm, okay? Uh, Taylor series, though, I can do a problem on the midterm very much like what you did uh, in your um, homework, 
Okay, so take a look at the homework for Taylor series. I could put something on there like that. Okay, so that covers pretty much block one, guaranteed to have a programming problem. The other stuff is certainly not a guarantee. Okay, block number two. A lot of stuff here I can put on the midterm. Uh, for instance, uh, the roots problem, certainly we're going to, you're definitely going to see some of that. Uh, there's different roots methods that we covered. Uh, the bisection method's pretty easy. Uh, and so uh, that one might be on there. Fixed point iteration, that may be on there. Uh, Newton Raphson and Secant method are very, you know, those are, have a high probability of being on there. Definitely study Newton Raphson and Secant method uh, and know how to solve those, okay? Uh, now, you might be saying, do I have to memorize the formulas? No. You have the formulas provided for you. In fact, I'm going to email this to you. But the formulas are provided for you. Uh, let me point out here the uh, newton raphson method and also point out the secant method. And so you've got those provided for you. Okay. Um, also, uh, let's see here, what do we got? Uh, Nonlinear systems of equations. Yes, uh, you've got those formulas as well. That's these big nasty ones right here, right? You did those. You had a homework on those, okay? And so that's also uh, possibly on the midterm. All of these will be problems that you'll have to calculate on paper, okay? This is all done on paper and all done in your calculator, so make sure you know how to do your calculator. And uh, especially if I give you newton raphson uh, you know you have to do the derivative for newton raphson So most of your calculators can do the derivative. Uh, and so make sure you know how to do that. Okay. Uh, so anyway, uh, I can throw uh, definitely some stuff related to block two on there. Uh, roots problems, newton raphson secant, bisection, very popular, and maybe a nonlinear system. Okay, that's a possibility. Okay. And so those are some things in that. In block three, we talked about two things. We talked about solving systems of linear equations and optimization. And those are definitely things that can be on there. Uh, there's not a lot of formulas to give you. The only formula I gave you is with optimization is the bottom one here. The stuff on the bottom has to do with golden section. Okay, so I gave you those formulas. But there's really not much else to give you. Because Gauss elimination, you just either know how to do it or you don't. Okay, uh, matrix inversion, well, basically plug that into your calculator. Or I could have you do Gauss-Jordan, which basically is to do a, a, a matrix inversion by hand. Okay, so know how to do Gauss-Jordan to do a matrix inversion by hand. Uh, Gauss-Seidel, that's an iterative method. You all had homework on that, so make sure you know how to do that. Uh, there's not really an equation for that. Uh, it's just an iterative method. Uh, Kramer's rule, I don't think that comes up on the test. I don't recall. It might, so review it, but I don't think it does. Okay, now optimization. Here's one thing. Everybody listen carefully because this trips up people a lot on the midterm. Uh, one of the things I can do on the midterm is I could have you optimize a function and using the Newton-Raphson method. Okay, in fact, if you take a look at that video number 18, uh, there is some information about how to do that. Optimization using Newton-Raphson. Now, if you look at the formula sheet, you'll see a formula for Newton-Raphson, okay? But that formula for Newton-Raphson, that's for solving a roots problem, okay? Now, for the Newton's method of optimization, you basically use the same formula, but listen cl closely here, folks. Listen to this very closely, because I know some of you are going to trip up on this. You basically use the same formula as Newton's Raphson, but instead of the function divided by the first derivative, it's the first derivative divided by the second derivative. Okay, again, if you're doing optimization using Newton's method, it's first derivative divided by second derivative. If you're solving a roots problem using Newton Raphson, it's the formula as shown in your equation sheet. I hope that's clear, because that's going to trip up somebody, I know. All right, so we got that, uh, talking about optimization, and then, of course, golden section, I gave you those formulas. Now, the last part here, nonlinear systems of equations and using Excel to solve linear programming problems, both those videos pretty much require you to use code. So those are not going to be, I'm not going to cover that 
on, on the exam. Uh, number, video number 21 talks about uh, nonlinear systems of equations optimizing them. We're not going to optimize. Now, you might have to solve a nonlinear system of equations as in video 11, but video number 21 is optimizing nonlinear systems of equations. We will not do that. And we will not do anything with using Excel to solve linear programming problems because we don't have our Excel access during the exam. Okay? So that kind of goes over a lot of the stuff. Again, six problems. Uh, expect kind of a, a mix of things uh, throughout the uh, exam. Uh, all of it on paper. Bring your calculator. Bring a writing instrument. You got two hours. And you can show up anytime between Wednesday, July 10th, and Friday, July 12th, so long as the Academic Success Center, Vines 202, is open. Go in there, get your test, and go for it. And there's your equation sheet. Uh, I'll email this as well to you. Okay? If you have any further questions regarding the midterm, uh, please write me. Uh, and uh, uh, any comments, any concerns, any questions, please write me. One last thing uh, as far as grading the midterm goes, I am going to be out of town the week after the midterm, okay? And so uh, it may be a little while before I get this midterm graded. Uh, I believe the last day to drop the class is the 26th of July, and you will get your results of your midterm before July 26th, okay? Uh, but it will take a little bit extra time. And oh, by the way, homework four has been posted on the homework site. So uh, once you get done with homework three, uh, you can start doing homework four. Remember, do homework three before you take the midterm because it covers it on the midterm and you want to make sure you do it. Okay? All right, good luck.